that's my hummingbird Just because I said I didn't wanna Doesn't mean I wanna to go In fact, I quite depended on her But that I didn't wanna to know John Mayer, Hummingbird, Stan Radio style. Uh, there's probably a little bit of a theme going on in this show. I'm sure you've gathered by the title and the first song. And my last song, by the way, is uh, a bit on the uh, slower side, but it's a very cool song, by the way, and the lyrics I actually think are interesting. But my Hummingbird sign story. First off, hummingbirds have been uh, what I call an animal totem for a while. Now, just to be kind of stranger and just to throw it out there, just from the standpoint, that's kind of a shamanistic angle, I guess, that I've sort of come down it. Uh, and there's video games that have shamans, but there's also real life ones that kind of, you know, go back to small times. And I think a lot of people have probably heard of them. I'm not like Mr. Like I've studied them or anything crazy like that. It's just one of many, um, things I've learned about over my years. So again, it's just kind of one of those things where animals of all kinds, critters even, right. Have meaning to me always have, or at least, well, not always, but for a lot of years have. And the internet, by the way, has made that so fascinating and easy to really take advantage of. So I don't have to remember a bunch of stuff. I can just look it up when it happens. But uh, when you have experiences where certain animals show up frequently, they can be called part of our totems. And I don't know for uh, here in the United States, and I'm not sure about other native cultures um, around the world, but uh, certainly here in the United States, a lot of the native cultures, um, uh, Native Americans, we called them basically, had these things called totem poles and they were poles that had a number of totems and they were different animals and these totems were like a family crest you know a lot of I think some you know some of like the knights and and some of that European stuff where you have a crest that's kind of similar right like you've got your the things that make up your family well that's what the totem was it was the um, nature version of that was the animal version of that so totems are super duper cool I'm saying all this stuff and hopefully I haven't lost a bunch of people already but I'm saying all this stuff because I want you to understand that life, higher self, is showing us answers in very, very cool ways. And a lot of us limit some of the ways that these things can show themselves to us. And today I had a wonderful, I mean, I've talked about hummingbirds before and them being a very significant um, thing for me. Very, very beautiful uh, symbol and definitely one of my totems. And how I... I guess what I want to do is I want to kind of explain how this played out because it was just so freaking cool. Today, uh, I was at lunchtime, and so I was walking out of the building, and today we're having what's called Santa Ana winds. It's like really windy, and it's actually kind of cold too uh, for us anyway. For a lot of people, it's still super, super warm, um, but it's really windy. And so I'm walking out, and up floating right above where I'm going is a little hummingbird. The little guy's just, he's just like floating like in air, right? Like they have, you know, they, 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 hover you know anyone here in the united states knows that or that's seen him here in the united states um and so i'm walking out i'm just like oh my god that's so amazing it's beautiful it was just there it's like perfect and what i could really notice and this is a little factoid about hummingbirds when their wings flap they flap in almost like a figure eight um and it creates almost like an infinity sign which is very symbolic and cool to me too so for anyone that's ever studied infinity it's actually like a sideways eight right you got two little circles that intersect like kind of like that that's like an infinity um you can look it up. Uh, but anyway, so their wings make that. So that's another thing that's really cool. But again, it was just right in there. It was hovering in a windy place, just hanging out where it was at. And then it kind of took off, landed in a nearby tree, and I could totally see it in the tree, like there. So this hummingbird was all for me. It was, you know, me and him, her, whatever, we're having a moment. And it was beautiful. And I was thinking about my SP just prior to that, and walking out. That's what I was thinking. That was what was on my mind. My higher self knows I'm thinking that, probably even helped kickstart that thought process. I'm trying to help you understand how this sort of plays out so you guys kind of open up a little bit to what can be shown to you. So on my way out to lunch, I got to walk from my desk, down an aisle, down towards a door, bust open the door, bust a right, and then hit eh, probably 20 feet, whatever, you know, uh, what is it, divided by three, seven meters, you know, up. There's another door, right? And I bust out of that, and then it's probably, shoot, 50 meters to my car. Um, I park far away intentionally. And so, you know, 25 meters away was where the hummingbird was. 
So I want you guys all to understand that your higher self knows, and it's like, all right, boom, you, we've got this little quick, cool connection right now with universe, with source, with nature, with whatever. And, you know, it could be a neighbor, it could be a person. I'm not always saying it's going to be a hummingbird, right? It could be who you bump into, it could be whatever. So hummingbird's a great example of something as like a, just a perfect timing moment, shooting stars, right? Same thing, right? So you're walking out, higher self knows, hey, and it's like starts, kickstarts this thought process for you and you walk out and you see something cool, whatever it is, experience something cool. There's something to that. If it's an animal for sure, then there are um, places where you can go online. You can look up the words animal, totem, and then name the animal or totem, an well, animal totem. And then whatever animal, in my case, hummingbird, right? So a couple cool things that came up um, about hummingbirds. And I just wanted to share this because this is kind of, again, how the symbolism works in life, right? So you can go and look this up online if you notice something symbolic in life. Certainly an animal, it works really, really good for. Um, and that's kind of more what this show is in, in relation to. So it could be a skunk, could be a spider, could be whatever. Could be a snake, whatever the heck, uh, whatever country you're in, you've got different animal totems and you can look up your own stuff. And obviously you have internet because you're watching this. Um, but so the uh, hummingbird generally, so oh, let me actually first, let me tell you a couple cool factoids. All right. Hummingbirds cannot walk or hop. They can go back sideways, but they cannot hop or walk, which I think is cool. Hummingbirds wings beat between 50 to 200 flaps per second. Yikes. 50 to 200 flaps a second. Average hummingbird heart rate is 1200 beats per minute. Uh, humans are 60 to 100. So just to put some perspective, um, at rest, a hummingbird takes an average of 250 breaths per minute. Dang. Average lifespan of a hummingbird, right? You would think this would be nothing, but they say it's 3 to 12 years. So they actually can live a decent length of time. Hummingbirds can lick 10 to 15 times per second. Just the dirty part of me thinks that's awesome. Uh, despite their small size, they are actually one of the most aggressive birds here in the United States. They will tack off... Uh, crows and all sorts of crazy birds and um apparently and i did not know this oh this i hope people can confirm this but this is so sad apparently there are no hummingbirds found in europe africa asia australia and antarctica that doesn't surprise me because penguins are the only bird there right so that's okay i can live with that no hummingbirds in antarctica cool but wow none in europe or wow that's so sad hummingbirds are beautiful so again Generally, they symbolize joy and playfulness when it's in your totem especially, right? Keep this in mind because this is kind of what my symbol was. I was thinking about my SP, right? Okay, so here's the connections. Here's where life goes. Hey, Dan, check it out. Uh, and this was pretty beautiful. Uh, so they're playful as well as adaptable. So additional symbolic meanings for hummingbirds. They're lightness of being, enjoyment of life, uh, being more present, independence, being playful and joyful in life, lifting up negativity, Swiftness, ability to respond quickly, resiliency, able to travel great distances, uh, distances tirelessly. The hummingbird spirit, animal, and their enjoyment of life. If a hummingbird shows up in your life's spirit, animal, it may remind you to enjoy life's simple pleasures and take time to enjoy yourself. The hummingbird's wisdom carries an invitation to take part in and draw to your life's sweetness, the nectar right? Uh, the call of the hummingbird totem will guide you and it will open you up to love and lightness in your emotional life. When you see the totem, you are encouraged to open up, uh, open up my heart and expose more of my joyful and love, right? Expose more, uh, expose more of that. It might be time to show how you feel to loved ones or to people who are close to you. One, uh, one more thing, restoring the power of your chakras is about how you can take back control of your health and wellness by learning to work with energy. So all good stuff, especially in my life. Um, it's not commonly known that the fluttering wings of the hummingbird, they make that uh, figure eight, that uh, uh, infinity sign. Uh, by observing the hummingbirds, uh, we see they are, they are seemingly, tireless, seemingly tireless. Good Lord, I can't talk. Always actively seeking the sweetest nectar. They remind us to forever seek out the good in life and the beauty in each day. Hummingbirds are also... A reminder of how we expend our own energy. When hummingbirds show up in our life, this is the really important part for me, by the way. When hummingbirds show up in their lives, it's a good time to take a look at our energy stores and our resources. Hummingbirds warrant an honest look at how we are maintaining our vibrational frequencies. Are we frittering away or flittering away? Frittering, there we go. Away our uh, energy or on, you know, on needless issues? Or are we in the state of well, like honed, kind of regulated balance 
that keeps us kind of flowing, right? So where's our energy resources? Because for a hummingbird, they, they have to eat like five to eight times an hour, right? Like these things are beating so fast and their pulses are so quick. These guys are constantly on the go. They're amazing migrators. Uh, supposedly they can travel up to 2,000 miles, which is insane. Uh, the hummingbird animal totem is a message of hope and jubilation. Hummingbird animal totems offer powerful as well as elegant attributes. So um, the one that really hit me is when hummingbirds are in your animal totem, because they truly are in mine, you are, you are a messenger of hope and jubilation. You aggressively seek out those that need inspiration and renewal and bring forth the, uh, the best in them. You are loyal, playful, and persistent. All of this tying to my specific person. So again, it's one of those things where you're looking for an answer from the universe. You're looking for guidance from the universe. You're looking for help from your higher self. Pay attention to things that show up in your life, especially when they catch your attention. If you walk out and, and suddenly something's in your view, it's for you. There's no, now nah, I was just looking at it. Well, yeah, you were looking at it. And why did you happen to look there and not over there or over there or over there or over there or any number of other places? Where you specifically look is impressive. It's important. Unless you're walking into a room that you walked into a hundred times before and you know the person that sits right there is hot. So you stare at them every time, right? Like every time you walk by, you're like, hey, like, okay, that's not really significant. That's normal. But if you walk out into nature and nature's like, hey, it, right? And then boom, that means something. Love it. Live it. Learn it. Do it. Then look it up online. Remember, animal totem, type in the animal name. Can be bugs too. Like I said, if you keep seeing uh, caterpillars, well, look it up. See what, it, what it, see what it says. Because if it's catching your attention, it means something. If you're one of these people that sees kangaroos often because you live in Australia where you don't have hummingbirds, it's really sad. But you have giant kickboxing rodents that are mean. Everything down there is crazy. What is wrong with that country's animals? I don't get it. Like, just about everything can kill you in 42 seconds. That's on the long end. Otherwise, it's like quicker than that. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, so again, pay attention to what's out there, what you're seeing, what you're doing. Let nature talk to you also, uh, because these things are going to give you answers and help and guidance. And a lot of us are wanting that and seeking that. And we're opening up to a lot of really cool stuff, signs, symbols, and all these things, right? Well, here's another little angle that maybe you weren't thinking about, where signs and symbols are extremely powerful forces and something I've been using for years and just love. Makes the day fun. That's one of the... Uh, it helps, by the way. For those of you like, I don't have anything that's... A, dude, when you're walking out and see stuff and you suddenly realize that your higher self slash nature slash whatever's talking to you, oh my gosh, everything's pretty cool. You start to really pay attention to who you meet, who you bump into. You start to realize, oh my God, all this stuff matters. All this stuff is is important. And so you kind of pay attention. You, you, you're you noticing more. And it's like it's always been there, but you're actually starting to notice more and more and more. And it just expands. And it is a very, very fun ride. So I hope this helps. I hope it gives you a little something, something to, uh, to run with. Uh, and uh, yeah. I think that is basically all I meant to talk about with that. But I had a really, really cool day. And there's another topic I'm supposed to be talking about that I keep uh, kicking that can down the road. I um, That's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun topic. I'm excited to have this topic, but it's a little controver controversial. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I don't like to rock the boat too terribly much, but whatever. Going out with a uh, song that's actually kind of on the religious -y side whatever but it was done by a band eons ago and they were coincidentally uh, coincidentally called the jubilee hummingbirds huh wonder why i picked them anyway the song is actually called help me to make it and it's actually got some really good things to say we're talking this is dan radio style Lord is hard, trying to live everybody receiving and nobody want to give 